Hello, welcome to Prosy Technologies. I am Prakash. In this session, we're going to see what is Azure Data Factory and also one of the important use case scenario how to copy data from Azure SQL to Blob Storage. We will see a demo on what is Azure Data Factory and how to create a new one. And also another demo for a use case scenario how to copy data from Azure SQL Server to a Blob Storage account. Let's see what is Data Factory. It's a service that allows movement of data from one place to another or it is a platform in the cloud to manage the data you have both on cloud or on premise like SSIS that is SQL Server Integration Service. Even you can do ETL that is Extract, Transform and Load and also ELT that is Extract, Load and Transform. It does not store any data. Let's jump into the Azure portal for the demo about Data Factory and its pipelines, dataset, link services and activities. Then we will also see the demo to copy data from Azure SQL to Blob Storage. In this Azure portal, we are going to search for Data Factories in the search box. Click on Data Factories. This opens up into a new window which shows a list of uh, Data Factories. We are going to add a new one. So in this new dialog box, we are going to provide a unique uh, Data Factory name. We are going to select uh, one of the version, whether it is V1 or V2. V2 is the advanced version which has many features like a lift and shift exercise package and many more. So I will currently select V2. Then leave the default subscription and resource group. Select one of the location. Here we are not going to enable any git. Disable it. Then click on create to create the new data factory. New data factory proxy EDF has been deployed now. Click on go to resource that you can see the new data factory name. Now click on this author and monitor button where it goes to a dashboard of Azure Data Factory. This is the Data Factory dashboard where we can create and test our code. Here we have pipelines. Let in demo I'll explain what pipelines are. Uh, then we have a configuration SSIS integration where we can lift and shift the entire SSIS package to the Data Factory and execute from here. In the left pan, we can see we have three icons. Author which leads to dashboard, pipeline icon where we code monitor icon where we can trigger and schedule jobs. Let's click on pipeline and see what they are. So this is the pipeline window. As a Azure developer, we spend most of our time here to build the code. Go to pipelines, click on the plus button and create a new pipeline. So what is a pipeline? Azure Pipeline is a cloud service available in Data Factory where we can build and test our code and make it available to other users to use. For example, we can copy data from a source and slice and dice them and push it to target location. In our case, we're going to copy a SQL table from a source to a target location as a text file. Another example is we can schedule jobs and automate it. We are back to the pipeline. Give a meaningful name to the pipeline. This is the column where it shows a list of activities in the pipeline. In this demo, we're going to see a copy activity. Search for copy in the internal activity search box. And we got a copy activity here. Give a meaningful name. For the copy activity, we need a source connection and a target connection. Each source and target needs a data set and a link service. Where data set represents the structure of the data, meaning what kind of data it is. Is it a SQL table or a .csv format or any other formats? Then we have link service where it defines the connection to the data source. Meaning if data set requests for a SQL table, then this link service provides the details of the server name, its database and the table name. So now we will create a new data set and a new link service for the source. Go to left panel, click on data sets and create a new data set. So this opens up into a new window. We are going to select Azure SQL, which is our source. Select and continue. Now we are going to select a new link service. So click on it. So give you a meaningful link service name. Select the default Azure subscription. Provide the existing Azure SQL Server details. If you do not have one, please check for my previous tutorial how to create a new Azure SQL Server. Link is in the description. 
Then provide the SQL authentication details with username and password of the SQL server and click on test connection to check if the details are valid or not. Yes, it's successful. Now click on create. New link service has been created. The control is back to dataset. Give a meaningful name to the dataset. And everything is fine. Now click on OK to create the new dataset. Dataset is created. Go to datasets in the left panel. And there you can see that our new data source ds underscore source has been created. To check the link service, go to the bottom left corner, click on connections. So here it is our new link service. So go back to the pipeline, click on the copy activity. So go to source and select the data set which we have created. So the source has been completed now. And click on edit, so select the table, go to connections, so we have only one table in this SQL server, that is technologies, check for the records, so we have three records in this table. Go back to the pipeline, click on the sync, sync is nothing but a target. Here we are going to create a new dataset and new link service for this target. So go to datasets, click on new dataset, search for blob. Select blob. What is blob? In this Azure portal, I have already created a blob storage account named Proxy Blob, which has two folders, source container and target container. If you want to know what is blob and how to create a new blob storage, Please check for my previous tutorial Azure Blob Storage, link is in the description. We are going back to the data factory. Click Blob Storage and continue. We are going to select .csv file format. So select and continue. Give a reasonable name to the dataset. Then we are going to create a new link service. Click on it. Give a valid name. Provide the blob storage details which we have already created. Then click on test connection to check if the details are valid or not. Is it successful? Click on create. The target link service has been created now. The control is back to dataset. Here we are going to select one of the folder. There are two folders in the blob location. We are going to select target container. Click on OK. And click on OK to create the data set for the target. So the data set has been created and the link service is also created for the target. Now go back to the pipeline. Click on the copy activity. So go to sync. That is a target. Select the target data set. So the source has been connected and also the target has been connected. Go to mapping and uh, map the columns which are available in source to target. Yes, there are only two columns which are mapped now. So check for uh, the records. So click on preview source. So there are three records available now in SQL table which will be copied to blob storage in a text file. So everything is fine. So let's validate, click on validate, yes there is no errors, so go back and debug the program. So it's uh, deploying now, so we can see that uh, it's running successfully and uh, let's wait for the confirmation, yes it has been completed successfully. Let's go back to the Azure portal and check the SQL table has been copied to blob storage or not. We are in the Azure portal right now and click on target container. It's loading. Yes, the file has been created here. So click on the file. So download and check the records. Yes, save it to location and open the file. Yes, the SQL table has been successfully copied to the file in blob storage. 
we are back to the data factory like copy activity we also have a store procedure activity where we can uh, select the store procedure and uh, select an existing store procedure available in this uh, server I have one uh, store procedure here just select it and we can um, validate and debug it and we have uh, another activity like uh, execute an existing pipeline so here if we have any other pipeline existing in this data factory we can uh, map here and execute from here in addition we have a lot of activities in data factory we have come to the end of this session hope you have understood what is data factory and the use case scenario how to copy data from azure sql to blob storage thank you support me by subscribing to my channel for more videos have a great day